House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's call to impeach President Trump may be facing legal and procedural challenges and may eventually benefit the Trump administration. One America's Christian Rose looks into the matter. After months of delays and indecisive pondering, House Democrats finally get on with impeachment proceedings against President Trump. In a statement Tuesday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi accused the president of violating the U.S. Constitution and working with the Ukrainian government to derail Joe Biden's 2020 presidential campaign. President Trump refuted the allegations as another witch hunt, suggesting it may turn into a major political victory for his administration. It's nonsense, and when you see the call, when you see the readout of the call, which I assume you'll see at some point, you'll understand. Earlier on Tuesday, the president authorized the release of the transcript of his July phone call with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Democrats claim President Trump pressured Ukraine to investigate Biden's alleged meddling and corruption in that country to erode his credibility. Such claims have been refuted by both the president and Ukrainian officials, putting into question the legal grounds for the impeachment inquiry. There was no pressure put on them whatsoever, but there was pressure put on with respect It was not immediately clear how Pelosi decided to advance her impeachment call without seeing the transcript of the call or the Intel whistleblower's complaint. The House Speaker cited her legitimate concerns, which some argue may be based exclusively off the reports in mainstream media. She cannot unilaterally decide we're in an impeachment inquiry. What she said today made no difference of what's been going on. Some point out there is no evidence of President Trump asking President Zelensky to investigate Biden, so he drops out of the 2020 race. Which raises the concern Democrats may have moved on impeachment to protect Biden, who faces questions of alleged money laundering from Ukraine into the U.S. That story was investigated by John Solomon of The Hill. I interviewed General uh, Prosecutor Shokin. He told me on the record uh, that at that very moment he was fired, he was making plans to interview Hunter Biden about this money. There were three separate investigations going on at the moment he was fired. Meanwhile, President Zelensky of Ukraine arrived in New York Tuesday for the UN General Assembly and is widely expected to address the matter. The main thing we need to understand is that Ukraine has support from the United States, not just aid, but support. I expect the relations with the United States States will be really cool. President Trump is set to meet with President Zelensky Wednesday, with the transcript of their phone call being released the same day. It remains to be seen what Democrats' next step will be if it turns out the Ukrainian collusion is indeed another manufactured hoax. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.